Dear fish keeper, especially today for the discus lovers, we have here a case of, of a discus. That's why I'm used here the background of a discus, like a turquoise blue color appearing, which I took on one of the discus shows sometimes I attend when I'm traveling. This is my background today, but the background of the fish of the show was not that great, uh, but because I'm gonna to talk today about the sick discus. A, a discus there, a batch of discus that was having serious problems. And it was uh, eventually a case of a bacterial infection. So far we could diagnose today in our case already 59. It was the variety of snake uh, red blue, snake skin red blue discus. They become dark colored, you can see in the back here. It becomes skinny. The respiration is sometimes quicker or faster. See, you know, the gills are a little bit open and they eventually die. Here we see the same tank. You see the same discus here. If you see that behavior, you know that fish is already too late to be treated. And the other ones are not showing it so badly, but they also are more likely infected, but not showing it. It always starts with a few fish, maybe one, maybe two. But eventually it will be within a couple of weeks, it will be five or six. So the ones who show it already, like, like this one here, you can see the fins, also some damage on it. Well, they, they tell you a message that you have to take action and to check what's going on with this fish. So when checking that uh, discus snake head, we found bad, poor gills. Look at the gills here, how badly they are destroyed necrotic gills, really destroyed bacterial infection. Here, more gills, really gone, all the lamellae. You can imagine that that fish was suffering as respiratory problems because the gills were badly infected with a bacterial infection. And also the internal organs were very bloody. Look at the intestine, all the bloody. Here, the liver, very bloody. This is not normal, it should be brown. See more parts of the organs, bloody parts, looking very bad. This is not a normal looking organ. And we found that the food was not digested. Look, the food, all, the whole intestine was full with undigested food here at the end of the track, undigested food, some excrement, but also some undigested food. That means there's a problem in the track, or the, in, I mean in the gut or in the intestine. So what could we suggest for a, a treatment in this case for this uh, snakeskin discus? Well, the very sick fish, it's better you put them asleep because they can be a spreader of the bacterial infection that was going on. Of course, it would be interesting to, to find the kind of bacteria and to do for a breeder uh, microbiology in a laboratory and to do a determination what kind of bacteria and what kind of antibiotic you can apply in a sensitivity testing. But this case, it was not done. It was a case which I was uh, brought up to me. And sometimes the money is not spent on laboratory uh, checks. So that's a choice you have to make. The choice you have to make is that you can check your food source. Maybe the food was polluted with uh, pathogenic bacteria. Frozen food is not killing bacteria, like I said in previous videos, and the live food also can contain pathogenic bacteria and causing this. A bacterial infection can be cured with an antibiotic. You have to ask your vet, maybe as your vet will take samples and send it to the laboratory. Improve the microbiome. Because of course, we could see that the fish was not properly digesting the food. So there was a problem with the intestine, with the beneficial bacteria in the intestine. So and that improving that helps the immunity of the fish. Uh, we also recommended to feed the fish during a minimum of 10 days or Dr. Baslier advises food professional grapefruit seed extract and Moringa. But that helps particularly in the gut and, and in the uh, internal body of the fish to control, uh, help to control bacterial infection. It's not a medication, but it's a help for the fish to fight off uh, bacterial infections. And in the months afterwards, we would recommend to, in this case to apply a 10 days treatment with our Dr. Bastier, Bifus Food Forte. Why do we call it a treatment? Well, it's a treat. 
it's an immunity stimulant with yeast extracts and probiotica pediococcus to recover the immune system because the fish were weakened, had a bad digesting. So all those things help. Maybe that was the, the main cause of, uh, in this case, that the, the fish were suffering maybe because the intestine was in a bad shape. You saw the bloody parts in it. There were some pathogenic bacteria there. So the microbiome was not functioning well and the immunity then vanishes because the intestine is a very important immune system for the fish and for mankind also think about that. So in, the food can help in there, but also the food can be the problem, like I said, when you're feeding live or frozen food. So I hope this case for the discus lovers help you to evaluate the problems uh, which can occur. Thank you for watching.